I, I knew my mic was muted, by the way. I just wanted to, like, make the big... I wanted to make the intro... Welcome, everyone, to another Tower of God. Live reaction. As always... Last chapter, uh... Last chapter was a little insane. It was a little bit crazy. Uh, white, apparently, is no longer white. He's no longer Joaquin. If we get that storyline continued, if we get to see Vicente or Vicente, however you say his name, I say Vicente, call me crazy, as whatever, man. I don't know, I gotta calm down because last chapter blew me away. I didn't expect it. I thought white was gone. I was like, SIU, please don't, please don't remove white. You know, like, dude, he's my favorite character. And he kept him around, man. He kept him around like a legend. Amazing. Anyway, I'm sorry I'm a little late, by the way. Sorry I'm a little late. Not, uh, not what I had planned. Uh, but I was kind of, <laughs> actually, if you see tomorrow's video, I was filming the video for tomorrow, which I don't normally do. I normally film the same day I upload, but I wanted to record ahead for whatever reason. And I was like, it's, it's one minute till my stream starts, but I got to finish this video. So apologies, apologies for that. Uh, we have Devlin Cole talking to foes. What's up, guys? I'm doing great, Devlin. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Cassie and Light. Our wonderful mods have arrived. Super happy to have you guys. Looks like it's going to be another great day for a chapter reaction. Joe, what do you think of the first generation of Slayer? Uh, I don't know much. I mean, they're obviously insane. They're all insane monsters, you know. The first generation Slayers are all insane. I mean, I think that much is pretty clear, you know? Um, but we don't know enough, we don't have enough details to know, like, anything more, any, any specifics, I would say. Um, yeah. Spencer, thank you so much for that super chat! Let's freaking go! Spencer with the $5 super chat. So happy I caught your stream. Can't wait to see your reaction. Thank you so much, Spencer. Really appreciate it. Super duper appreciate that. Let's freaking go. Legend. Legend, legend, legend. Let's be fair, white is five people. That is totally fair. Dark Innovator, you have a great point. I'm not... Oops. I'll put my water here. I'm not denying the fact that white is five people, but the fact that he's like no longer the white we knew because he was five people, but with one dominant personality. You know, he was essentially just white. Um, I mean, he was essentially just Joaquin, but more powerful um, is the way I see it. So, just gonna share on Discord really quick. But how are you all doing? Are you ex. Fricking, I forgot to put the video link. Boom, there we go. Are you excited about this chapter? Is it gonna be crazy? Don't spoil anything, but I wanna know if you're excited. Joe, a baddie? What are you talking about? Ismail, how many family leads have we seen so far? Good question. So this can be broken down in a few different ways. If you're talking about how many we've seen just period, you know, like even like a little glimpse, I think we've seen three or four. We've seen four. We've seen the back of uh, Arie Han. We've seen Data Edwan. We saw a shadow version, you know, like a shadowed Ha Yurin. And then obviously Pobedo Gustang. I think that's it though. I'm pretty sure that's it. If you count those uh, circumstances. Bruna, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Can't wait to see more of Bomb. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Super excited. Well, thank you for the super chat for saying so. I agree, you know, Bomb, um, Bomb went through a lot just now and I hope he's changed. I hope he's not like, that was crazy. You know, I don't think he's going to. I think that he is permanently scarred by what he just found out about. People that he cared about have died, and he's not used to that yet. So, yeah. Cassie says, reminder that if you spoil anything, you will wake up and all your clothes will be ripped apart at the seams. Do not underestimate Cassie. Cassie is terrifying. And I know Cassie is serious when they say that. Um, by the way, if you want to leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. We have five minutes until the chapter comes out, but I might, I might wait a bit past, um, nine, 
because I want to make sure we can cover this chapter. I know I started late, so give me a moment. I'm going to start streaming. I mean, sorry, I'm going to share the, the chapter, and we're going we're gonna to break this down really quick. We're going to break this down, okay? It's important that we do this. This is an important part of our, our weekly live streams, okay? Boom. All right. So obviously the first part is the aftermath of the fight where Kun and Rack, they ha they got their power-ups. Bomb, I mean, Kun catches bomb, princess style, beautiful, okay. Um, Kun has wings now, apparently. You know, Kun can just fly now, I guess. I guess that's a thing. Why not, you know, like, sure. Why not? It, it's, I mean, it makes sense if he got that much power that he would, you know, gain, like, the ability of flight or, or something of that nature. Um, but still, just thinking about it, flight is something that is rarely seen among regulars. I'm pretty sure we've only seen it from a few. Only a few. Like what? You know, Vespa, the, the bee, who has natural wings. Like, regulars who have wings, I mean, sure. Um, you know, or like Lauro, who used his Shinsu to float. But it's very rare. It's very rare. SIU has said that also. I think he even said that, like, Having Lauro fly was like a little bit, he didn't retcon it, but he was a little bit like, mm, even that was kind of pushing it. So the fact that Kuhn is flying and has wings is a bigger deal than you would think, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Dark Innovator, thank you so much for the five pound super chat, I think so. I'm terrible at symbols, it's pounds. Funny story, Joe, did you know that SIU once said in a blog that Vicente would return later? Wait, did he actually say, I did not know that. He actually said that? I'd love to read that blog. Do you know what blog it was? I'd love to pull it up because that's super awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, the webtoon finally caught up to SIU. Exactly, bro. I mean, there's so many things that the webtoon still has to catch up to, but that's a really cool detail. I didn't know he foreshadowed that. So appreciate that. Thank you, Dark Innovator. And then Jeremy Joestar with the $5 super chat. What are the chances of Doom dying in this rematch? They're not good. I mean, well, they're, they're good for him dying, in my opinion. But SIU doesn't like to kill characters. So it's like, ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. After this, we can finally get Kalavan versus Liboric fight. Dude. Also, how screwed is Jin Sung Ha? He's pretty screwed, man. Jin Sung Ha is pretty screwed. I, I truly think... I'm gonna be truly surprised if we rescue Jin Sung and we all get out of here pretty unscathed. It'd be kind of like... I would raise an eyebrow. I feel like there's gonna... Something bad's gonna happen. The family head is here, you know, whether it has to do with Liboric or Jin Sung, I don't know. But I'm something's going to happen, and I think Jin Sung is not in a great spot. But yeah, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Kun and Rack are just flying now. They're really just flying. You know, they're just floating around like it's no big deal. Rack just flies into the air. Smacks into Kuhn, you know what I mean? So. Also, reminder, no spoilers. If if I'm asking a question about, like, you know, I think this is going to happen, and you're like, um, it doesn't. You're not fun, okay? And you're going to get banned, just just so you know. You're going to get warned, and you're going to get banned. Um, the whole point is we're discussing possibilities, okay? So do not confirm anything. Even hints or fake spoilers you will get warnings for, just so you know. Okay. Cool. So then freaking Joaquin. So if we, I forget this. We didn't even get to see Vicente first. We got to saw, we got to see Joaquin first, which is crazy. You know, that's Joaquin. Look at those little baby. That's Joaquin, bro. That's not white. That's Joaquin. This blew my mind. It's, it's Joaquin. It's little baby Joaquin, man. Crazy. It's crazy. He's lost all of his souls. Sand through his fingers. Love that analogy. He freaks out. His hair starts to change. So what I want to know is if he's permanently in Vicente mode or if he can switch on Will. Because I think that would be so interesting. But I'm down to have Vicente for a while because, you know, we get to have an REA on our team. Like, legit, that's kind of freaking sick, bro. And I love Vicente. I mean, ever since he he decided to side with Wong Nan because they offered him snacks, I was like, this guy's a good character, bro. This guy's a good character. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. 
I've never seen an elephant fly, but I would imagine I'd never imagine I'd see a gator fly. <laughs> yep, gators are flying. Apparently, they're just floating around. So then we cut to Yama and Doom. I know the chapter's gonna release soon, but give me just a couple more minutes here. Be patient. I'm going to finish my recap here. Dude, this freaking ugly cat, man. Every single time. So this is interesting because we get a brief skirmish between these two. And, you know, we have Yama just being confident. Again, I have a feeling Yama learned something that makes him pretty calm and yet still wants to fight Yisracha. Maybe the fact that him and his father were actually kind of close. Maybe his father is the one who, like, did something bad. I don't know. I don't want to believe that. But something happened, right? They clash. At first, it looks like Yisracha kicks his ass. Blah, 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 blah. But Yama takes the attacks. <laughs> Doom is the whole time freaking out, calling him a moron. Reminder, Doom is the older brother. Just want to throw that out there. Um... But then Yama, Yama is just having fun, man. He's having fun. That second fang is freaking... It's giving him the confidence he needs, you know? Um, when I first met him, my body... First fought him, my body was so tense. So a lot of this could be attributed to the fake thing that Yasracha planted within him. The fake fear, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't really... Like, obviously that plays into it. But the way I see it is that it's still a genuine fear you know what i mean like yama could have still fought through that but gave in like he he gave into the fear you know what i mean that's how i see it um so it was still great growth for yama he goes in even doom tries to help so thanks doom you know and he catches he goes in for the block and he catches his arm it wasn't an attack he's using his brain now so smooth and natural shinsu boom and he gets him good light as a feather and that's how we end it that's where we end it i mean I'm, i have a feeling this next chapter is going to be doom and yasracha focused which i'm down for i have a feeling we're going to see a transformation from yasracha i would love to see a transformation from doom i mean freaking yama i'm mixing up their names yasracha is for sure going to transform at some point i would love to see yama transform as well but I also wonder if they're, if SIU is saving it for when he receives all three fangs. You know what I mean? Like maybe once you receive the triple fang, then you can transform. I don't know. I don't know. That cat gives you the creeps, bro. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. There's so many people who are like, oh, the cat is so cute. And it's like, are you seeing this? You know what I mean? The cat, this cat is the opposite of cute. But anyway, I think it's time. I think it's time. <laughs> the cat has done nothing wrong? Bro. I don't care, man. I don't care, okay? It's done wrong existing. Is that bad? Is that bad for me to say? Here we go. Here we go. It is time for chapter 514 of Tower of God, AKA episode 97 of season three. Are we ready? Are we ready for this? We're about to get started. I don't know if I'm ready, man. I'm trying to think. I have a feeling we're going to get a bit of Vicente, but it's going to be mostly focused on Yama. That's my prediction. Locking it in. Locking it in now. Because I feel like you can't cut away from Bomb, right? Like, you can't entirely cut away from Bomb. That's my opinion. But we'll see. We'll see. Leave the cat alone? Dude, this cat is evil. It's evil. Don't try to defend this cat. It's freaking just Roger's little henchman. Jeez. It's going to transform into some ugly looking creature too. You just know it. Come on now. Come on. Come on. But anyway, here we go with episode 97 of season 3 or chapter 514 of Tower of God. If you like the channel, leave a like. I'd appreciate it. If you're new, Welcome, happy to have you here. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, oh, wait. It's Joaquin, we're getting, we're getting so many Joaquin flashbacks. Okay, okay, we're cutting to Joaquin right off the bat. I didn't expect that. Interesting, almost like a continuation of last time because the last time there was a flashback, we learned that his quench his thirst, I mean, was unquenchable, right? We learned it was like a, a consequence of the spell. He will never feel satisfied, which sucks. But I mean, he did it to himself. 
So, okay. Also, he was like rejected by the sword and all that. Okay. Damn it. I can't quench my thirst. No matter how much I drink. Oh, you poor, poor Joaquin said no one. Bah! Is this? Wait. It's Vicente. Hey, you over there, are you okay? You're Joaquin. Oh, he looks so different. He looks kind of like Kuhn. Am I wrong the way his hair is done? Interesting, Vicente. I was gonna say, I was like, he doesn't recognize him? Because the, the reason I was confused is because the five of them, like, Joaquin found the spell, but the five of them kind of eventually came to this agreement together. But maybe it was after. Maybe, like, Joaquin found the spell, started eating people, and then came to his siblings? And maybe that's what this is gonna show? Interesting! We've received more Joaquin flashbacks than Kuhn flashbacks. Joaquin has more flashbacks than any character in the story, man. I'm not complaining, but it's just interesting. You're Joaquin. Vicente. So he does know him. I was got, I thought it was, they were meeting. I was like, this doesn't make sense. Okay, okay, okay. My boy. My boy's got the bookworm. He's up. I mean, he's got the book. <laughs> he's a bookworm. Vicente, why are you here? I was meditating. Reading while listening to the waves helps me settle my mind. Oh, they're near like a lake or something? I see. And I'll leave you to it. So he's noticing something is off. He's noticing something is off. You do have a noble hobby. Joaquin. Since we met like this outside, how about a small talk? Dude. The look in his eyes says everything. He's like, I hate you. He already hates his siblings, man. It's sad, bro. I mean, like, maybe not hate, like, 100%, but you know he's getting that vibe. He's like, leave me alone. I want to leave. I, I don't want social interaction. Vicente looks so mature, though. Am I right? I don't know, man. Looking good. Looking clean. Some bro on... Some... Some... Some bro bonding time? <sighs> Sitting down helps a little. Your hair is so long, dude. Oh, the sword! The s We're actually seeing it up close. We've, we've heard of this before. I think it was in a previous flashback. Where there's like this giant sword that just floats in the sky, like near their home. Interesting. It's always beautiful. Of course, it's one of Father's swords. A sword that never stained with any blood, even after cutting someone. Ooh, that's pretty. Also, these are buildings compared to that sword. Think about that. Sheesh. I, would, I wouldn't have the sword float above the building. Like, that's a, that's a bit of a risk if you ask me. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. That's cool, though. Sword is the goal of every swordsman in the REA family. Interesting. Can you decompress it? Because that thing's freaking huge. It's freaking huge. Therapy should be available to regulars and rankers. They go through a lot. You're not wrong, but this is the tower, sadly. If somebody became a therapist, they'd make a ton of money in the tower. Are you always on edge because you have such a high goal? What? Are you trying to pick a fight with me? You're the strongest in your age group. But you always seem to fret. Remember, they've they've clashed blades, and Joaquin was always offensive, Vicente was always defensive, and they could never beat each other. Vicente, on the other, you on the other hand, don't look so ambitious even though you're talented. That's not true. I'm ambitious too. It just doesn't show because I always control my mind. He really talk like an old man. He does, man. He's so mature. It's kind of sad. we go. I think this is what's gonna lead to the siblings agreeing to like combine. I feel thirst. Dang, you came out of nowhere with that. Thirst? <laughs> Pulls out a coke. Here you go. Right. Thirst for power. Coke doesn't satisfy thirst, by the way. Just so you know. It does temper. Temporary. 
get stronger as I gain more power. But my thirst is stronger too. It's natural to desire for more power as you get stronger. I don't think he knows about the spell yet. But my fear is getting stronger too. Fear. Yeah. I feel like I'm taking a different road than the one father took. He's actually confiding in him, bro. Where is this Joaquin? I missed. I, 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 I mean, I don't miss this Joaquin. I just wish we could see this Joaquin. I don't think he was greedy like me when he was building up his power. So if I keep getting stronger like this... Dude, he's like looking at his hands. He probably already killed his mentor. I feel like I'll never get a hold of the power. Like fathers that I desire so much. Daddy issues. The waves crashing against that sword. Shinsu? Or just the sword in general? Sound as if they keep criticizing me. So I keep running and straying away. Joaquin, you're not the only one. I feel the same. All our brothers have the same pain as you. He did do the spell though, right? So like the thirst is like legit? Or is it like a natural thirst for power? And then they discover the spell? I want this flashback to see. Because I thought for sure that he like discovered it and then brought it to them. You know what I mean? But maybe not. Maybe it's a little different. I don't know. I'm, I'm very curious. We'll see. We'll see. Don't spoil it if it's gonna sh if it's gonna show. But he actually said, I feel the same. All our brothers have the same pain as you. I also ran away from Father's sword. That's why I'm reading this book. Oh shoot, okay, okay. <gasps> To use the spell written in this book to possess greater power. I know for sure that it was mentioned that the devil gave Joaquin the book. Like in a dream or something, right? He told him where to find it? Maybe either that was retconned or he was lying. And Vicente had the book. I mean, this is very interesting to me. This is interesting. You must be new. <laughs> you must be new to the streams. I read at my own pace, okay? You must be new. Let's do it together. It was me who raised a soul-eating monster inside me. Wait, what? Wait, it was me who raised a soul-eating monster inside me, but I wasn't the only one who m went. So let me get this straight. Oh, wait a minute. I think I get it. I think I think I get it. And if this is true, that's fascinating. They both found the book. Or they found two books that taught them the same thing. I wasn't the only one who mastered the spell to use that monster. So he did know about the monster. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Unless Joaquin can confuse his memory. That's what I thought, too. Like, maybe there's some weird, like... But that's a good thought, too. Like, he literally, like, mixed up his own memory because they're, like, the same person. But it, they actually found the book separately and didn't tell each other. That's interesting. That's fascinating. Wait a minute. I think that's what it's implying. Maybe since they found the book inside white and learned it? The devil visited both of them, or Vicente is Joaquin's devil. Memory is pretty faulty, too. You think, is the translation, wait, is the translation off? Thank you, Devlin, appreciate it. I mean, I'm ba if it's going off of what he's saying, I wasn't the only one who mastered the spell. 
Because he's saying you, like almost like you found it too. You know, not like, what is this spell? It sounds like he knows the spell. No, see exactly, perhaps he mastered it before me. So they found it separately. That's crazy. That's wild to me. That's wild. So I always was under the assumption that Joaquin brought it, you know, like, hey kids, let's get together. Let's let's merge. Here's a spell I found. But Vicente perhaps even found it before Joaquin. Because I always associate it with Joaquin. That's so interesting. Oh boy, and we're we cut and we're cutting back. Alright, we know how SIE likes to do this, bro. He gives us a little flashback and ties us into the current story. Bro, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to have Vicente back as a character. Like, it's not like it's such a foreign concept to me. Because you have to think about it too. Like, for people who like just finished catching up, or for people who just read the story, it's probably not as weird. But you know, and it's not even as weird for me as it is for some people, but I read this story like five years ago, ish. Yeah, like five, maybe more, like five years ago, five, six, like five years ago, <laughs> let's call it five years. So it's been five years since Vicente has been a character for me. You know what I mean? It's so crazy that he's back for some people, even longer, some other people. It's wild. It's freaking weird. He gets a little haircut. Gets a little haircut. Here we go, baby. Here we go. His hair. It's gotten short. Dang, bro. There he is. The legend. The legend. Thank you. You made White escape to his inner self. So you made White escape to his inner self. So White, or Joaquin, like retreated? Like hid away? Interesting, bro. Are you... The other self of White Turtle! I mean, the other self. One of the other selves. There's five of them. Remember that. Although, is Albelda still there? Because we have to remember that the uh, that Albelda, we call her Albelda, the final clone, wasn't exactly Albelda, right? That was just a collection of the souls mixed with Albelda, which is why she looked different. Joaquin didn't recognize her. So if all those souls are gone, did she remain? I want to find that out too. I'm guessing yes. I'm guessing now it's just the five of them in one body. White escaped to his inner self. That means you're a turtle with multiple personalities. <laughs> I mean, we knew that already. Rack, we did. Come on, dude. How long has it been since you've reread Tower of God, bro? Because we knew that already. <laughs> I guess you can say that. White hidden side. Joaquin, I think is what he means. I see you every time I wake up, dinosaur. He's like. You again, you're still alive. <laughs> Looks like it was a big shock for him to lose that boy. I took that chance to come out. Ooh, he was waiting, bro. He's been waiting for years for that opportunity. Let's go. Whatever. So are you an enemy or not? Well, what do you think? Dude, he looks so cool. It's so weird seeing another REA, bro. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it, bro. I love it. It's a nice change of pace. That's all I'm saying. It's a nice change of pace. Like, 100%. It's nice. Dr. Rack on point. Rack's giving him a, uh, an examination. <sighs> that punk! I mean, he's not going to be. Right? I can't imagine. Vicente versus Rack? No, no, no. Of course not. The one high above? Who does that refer to? The one high above. So a dark twist is over. The one high above. Part one. See, you could be like, oh, Vicente, he's floating up there. What if it's the family head or something? I don't know. <laughs> Wait, what the frick? The frick is this? Is someone teleporting? Oh. <laughs> Who's, who is it? It's gonna be Asensio. There he is, Asensio, dude, let's go! Wait, does that mean he killed Nanatona? Did it work? It's kind of morbid. Uh, <laughs> did he kill Nanatona? Like, hello, Asensio. By the way, with his hood on, he, ex he looks exactly like Asensio, by the way. Exactly by Asensio. Did you really catch that mouse to come out? I knew it, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> He's like, 
No, I couldn't. <laughs> Kuhn's like, I knew it. I caught a normal mouse. I mean, fair enough. Now he looks exactly like, dude. I mean, that's Asensio, like straight up, but just older. Man, it's so weird seeing him back, bro. It's like, not even back, because it wasn't him, but you know what I mean. Earlier at the cat tower, okay. All right, time to catch the mouse. Wait, just give me a minute. I have something to say. Oh, he's freaking out. I don't like dragging things out. I'll just catch you now and get out of here. He genuinely believed that it would work. You moron, do you, do you think you can go to the field by catching me? A moron, you're dead meat. No, I take that back, a genius, genius. Wow, I'm very clever of you to try to go out to the field by catching me. But sorry, I'm a player, so catching me won't get you out of here. I can use my hearing ability to find a mouse fast. Ah, uh, fair enough, fair enough. So I'll tell you where it is. Mm, yeah, but would I really trust you that much? Trust me, I've got hard feelings against this Racha too. I'm from a species that he just Get the frick out of here with that, bro. Dude, you cannot. You can't be like, oh, trust me, I want to get back at Yasracha, but I've been serving him for a hundred years. Like, freaking, freaking slap you. I follow him out of fear, but I'm not loyal enough to sacrifice my life for him. I mean, okay, that's believable, I guess. <laughs> Division commanders of our army corps are nothing but trophies of Yasracha's conquest. That's a good point, because every single one of his subordinates has been from a different tribe, you know what I mean? They're not like legit canines. I mean, sorry, felines. Which is interesting. We don't hate, we don't have trust or loyalty to our army corps commander like the other army corps do. I joined this corps, total opposite of Kalavan. I joined this corps only because I was terrified by this Russia's transformation. <sighs> Please trust me. I'll find you a mouse. If you let me go and tell you everything you want to know. Dang, you look good, Asensio! Just saying. Okay, I'll let you go. <gasps> really? On one condition. <laughs> okay, all right. Don't tell anyone what happened in here. <laughs> it's a round face. And from here on out, you can't attack anyone or go out to the field by catching a mouse. If you do, I'll find you no matter what and kill you. I mean, but if you don't, like, you're gonna get killed anyway, bro. I'll tear those big ears and tail off. Coon family hates to be stabbed in the back. You have to tell me everything I ask, okay? Okay, okay, I promise! That's how I got out. <laughs> He's like, well, there you go, that's my story. <laughs> oh, great, okay. But, is that white? He seems to become smaller. Yeah, he's a little smaller, a little, little bit of a skinny boy now. Is he one of the Coon family? Oh, that's what he's thinking. And his hair is shorter. I think I can beat him easily. He's blowing the bubble gum, bro. He looks younger, I think, in the recent panels. And I think that's why I'm like, he looks closer to the Essencio I, I remember, you know what I mean? But he's still got the bubble gum. Dude, you've been blowing bubble gum for what? Hundreds of, hundreds if not thousands of years? You're wild, bro. No, enough with fighting. Just like Joaquin, my ambition is directed to my father, but I have no grudge against you all. <laughs> as soon as a ranker showed up, he was like, hey, I don't want to fight. I'm just saying, where's Arya, by the way, with all of this? But there's still Joaquin inside you. Why do we have to miss this golden opportunity to get rid of that guy? All right, let's calm down, okay? You all know Joaquin's a good character. All right, you don't want to get rid of Joaquin. Come on. Come on. It won't be easy for White to come out. I can control him while his mind is weak now. Besides, don't all of you have no time to lose? He's got a point. Also, why are your clothes flying off, bro? You should probably fix that. Your participant lost consciousness. And isn't that boy's master waiting beyond the wall? So the ones inside, they were like, they were conscious of what was happening. Vicente was conscious, which is so weird. It's almost like they were all of one mind, but Joaquin's was dominant, you know what I mean? Plus, the game has only a few turns left. Yeah, you can't waste any more time. Wouldn't it be not that favorable, spending more time here because of me? What's your call? I don't really care what happens. It's annoying, but he's right. This game is a time limit. 
It's a good opportunity, but we must not forget the original objective of this battle. Besides, that guy looks pretty smart too. <laughs> that guy looks pretty smart too. He's the brains of the operation. He's the brains. I guess we don't have a choice. The lighthouses? All right, we'll stop fighting here. That's a wise decision. Finish line. All right, all right. Oh, there's Arya. We're teaming up. All right, look at the squad. Coon, Rack, Bomb. Okay, fair enough. And we got Asensio, Vicente, and Arya. What? What is going on? This is the dream team. This is the dream team. Sheesh. <laughs> Why is everyone following us to the finish line? <laughs> She's like, is my neck okay? <laughs> no, uh, no, uh, you know, little creases or whatever. They're following us so naturally because you're a squad now, bro. You're a, just accept it. You're a squad, okay? You're a dream team. Just accept it, bro. Exactly. Chat, chat saying it exactly, bro. Hey, are you guys coming? Are you guys really coming along? Well, of course for me. Now that I'm a traitor, I have no place to go. I have nowhere to go either. <laughs> Damn it, how do we end up such a ridiculous party? It's like that moment when you're playing an RPG and you're like, wait, that character joins the party? You know what I mean? Even if it's like temporary, you're like, I never would have predicted you got to join the party. It's so funny. I mean, they've got to, like, what do you expect them to do? They have to get off the field. Do you expect them to just stay on the field for the rest of their lives? Like, they have no choice but to follow, you know? But are you really not going to tell me what that request is? Well, to be honest, I don't know what exactly it is either. I would know after meeting the princess. Asensio is Mashini's little lapdog. Oh my gosh, bro. Mashini's pulling all the strings as usual. What it's going to be like in Towers and Gods soon. That character is joining? True, true, true. Then, let's go. Dude, all right, come, you, got, you keep giving us these badass shots. Also, Vicente's a small little boy. He's a short little boy. Look at this short king. Participant Bomb has arrived at the finish line. I guess it counts if you carry him. All right. We got six participants, baby. What a climb, what a battle, man. Teleporting to the destination. What the frick is that? That's a cool looking ship. Also, the eye, it's just Racha's eye, man, the watermelon eye. Nest in front of the third wall. By the way, we're not getting anything of Yama. I'm shocked, I thought for sure. I thought for sure we were getting Yama. Nest in front of the third wall. Oh shoot, it's Hoariyun! Wait a minute, it's Hoariyun! I did not expect- Dude, Hoariyun, we knew! Hoariyun and Yule and Kel, they all got on the ship! <laughs> Dude, we're doing this game and Hoariyun's just flying around on her phone waiting for people to finish. That's so funny, man. Great, you guys cleared the game faster than the other teams. Dang, okay! They <laughs> look at you all. He's uh, putting his face on the glass. Wow, they really arrived. What were you? Oh my. Gotta, gotta take a second. Holy cow, Hwariyun looks gorgeous. I missed you, Hwariyun. I'm still Iwa number one. Iwa number one. Iwa number one. But Hwariyun is amazing. Just throw that out there. Hwariyun is beautiful. Okay. I'm just, I'm just appreciating Hwariyun's beauty. Thank you. Good work, but don't I not see the most important person? She's like, I don't care about you all. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I don't care about you all. Where's Bomb? Where's my God? Like, you know, he hasn't been picking up my calls. Like, he's inside my lighthouse. He's unconscious right now. Sounds like he had a rough time again. He was fighting white. Hari, like, did. It, you're a little bit of an understatement. Let's say that. You even brought along these weirdos. <laughs> That's a bit harsh. It's not like I wanted to either. <laughs> true, true. Let's hurry before Jin Sung Ha gets locked up in the suspendium. Something's gonna happen with the suspendium, bro. Something's gonna happen. 
Something's gonna happen. We need to go over that wall. Wait, so I thought we already went through the third wall. Right? Or did they play the game outside the third wall? Or did they go through the fourth wall? I Am I forgetting like the number of walls? I don't know, whatever. They gotta get through. Wait, but don't we get like a wish? Don't we like win a reward? Don't we get something? I thought, can't you like teleport wherever you wanna go? I thought that was, okay, whatever. Huge suspendium behind the third wall. Oh, wait a minute. I was thinking about it like, okay, the third wall is the outermost, then there's the second wall, then there's the first. I'm pretty sure they're doing it opposite, where they went through the first wall, now they gotta, wait. Now they gotta get, am I? Whatever, they gotta get through the wall. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Huge suspendium behind the third wall. Behind the third wall. Interesting. Sorry about that noise. Uh... Okay. We good, we good, we good. Okay. Oh, shoot. They're giving... This chapter was so good. They're giving us everything. The second wall was the spell one. Which was the first wall that they encountered. I'm so dumb. Wait a minute. They teleported past the third... Broke through the second. No, no, they teleported past the first wall. Spelled, broke through the spell on the second wall. Now they're in the first wall. Now they're getting past the, the third wall. Good, okay, I understand now. I understand. Wife number two. Oh shoot, it's Mashini, bro. It's Mashini. Oh shoot, here we go. Looks like the Irregular cleared the game. He'll be here soon. Dude, she knew he was gonna clear the game too. 5D chess! Will that boy really meet my expectations? I'm curious. Oh no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I'll, I'll exit out of the, the thing making that noise because this is too intense, bro. Don't come, bomb. Jin Song! The one waiting in front of here is too high above you. It has to be the family head. But if it's the... But it... But if it's the... If it's the family head, that means they're setting up bomb versus family head? He's talking about... There's no way he's talking about Mashini, right? I mean, maybe he is. But I don't think she's there to fight. I don't think she's like, I want to fight Bomb. I think she has an, a deeper motive than that, you know? Plus, she probably just found out that Bomb just whooped White's butt, you know? And so I feel like if I were her, I'd be a little bit scared and not necessarily super confident. But I don't know. Mashini, by the way, like Jin Sung is ancient, extremely old, you know, very old, um, possibly even older than we know. But Mashini is very old as well, because she was present for the Eurasia N incident. Or Eurasia and, depending on the translation. So, do not underestimate Mashini. Didn't Gustang say bombs equal to the family heads? What? Well, no. If he is, that's too much. I mean, White's defeating White was even pushing it, even though he had a little bit of help near the end. If he defeats freaking the family head, it's over, man. I think, all right, I, I doubt it. I doubt it. If he fights the family head, I'm telling you he's gonna get whooped. <laughs> I'm t I, I'm t I know some people are probably like, oh really? I'm like, it has to be. It's the only option, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm not even doubting that. Because if, this is the reason, if Bomb beats family head, <laughs> even saying it makes me laugh. He's ready to fight Jihad, straight up. 
ready to fight Jihad at floor 52 or wherever, wherever, wherever we're at. You know what I mean? It's too soon, man. It's too soon. The only way that would work is if we have a new protagonist, like we cut to Wang Nan for the next 300 chapters. You know what I mean? So. It's too early, man. Yeah, he's far from equal. Yeah, so, so white, that's why, okay. Interesting topic here. Um, there were some interesting comments um, from the last episode where people were like, you know, White was kind of getting close to his father. Like, you shouldn't dismiss White super easily. Which is, like, fair. Like, he was very, very strong. But the level that the family heads have, even the weakest family head, and remember, Lopobia is, I believe, the lowest ranked family head, or at least he's one of, but I'm pretty sure he's the lowest ranked family head. Even he is a god. Even amongst people like Bomb, he is a god, right? And Arie Han is the strongest of the ten family heads. Like, there's no contest to him and, him and White, you know what I mean? So. Anyway, very fascinating chapter. There was a lot that happened. I mean, my goodness. Like, this, this chapter was fun. It was interesting. It was long. Started with a flashback. We got characters. We got the dream team. We got Hua Ryun and Ma Shin Jin Sung. I'm gonna cry, bro. It was so good, man. It was so good. This was a fun chapter. I enjo I enjoyed reading this chapter. We got Asensio back. Marco Asensio. Freaking the queen herself with Yule in the background because why not? You know what I mean? It's awesome. Uh, Spencer, thank you so much for another super chat. Love the reaction and love your content. Can't wait for next week. By the way, did you notice that how Coon's wings were flying? Looked just like white. Someone did point that out. I guess I... I guess they are. I guess they are, you know, which makes sense. I mean, he received the white power. So is Kuhn going to be our new white? I mean, what's the implication there, you know? It does look like white. I guess I wasn't sure if that was intentional, if it was a coincidence, but obviously it's intentional. You know, that's interesting. I don't know. The Kuhn and Rack power-ups got me a little worried because I don't want them to just shoot up too high in power. But as long as they're stronger, like even, you know, they're definitely stronger. Like, I'm down. I'm down, man. Let's see what they can do, you know? I'm down to see where SIU takes it. Such a good chapter, man. Like the chapter. Please like the chapter. And if you would like to participate in this rock, paper, scissors match, if you lose, you gotta like the chapter. I mean, sorry. If you lose, you gotta like the stream because hopefully you're already liking the chapters, right? Here we go. You ready? You ready? We're starting now, okay? Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot! If you cheated, um, if you cheated, you know. If you cheated, you know, okay? You know you cheated, okay? Just saying, okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Oh, wanna give a quick shout out to Towers and Gods. You all know, you all hear me talk about it so much and you're like, dude, I don't care. You say it all the time. You guys gotta hear me out, man. It is so much freaking fun. It is so much fun. Before I, before it's I a blast. Them, I take a quick love Towers and Gods. My pocket. <laughs> it's just so much fun. You know, there was drama in the last episode. We added some extra lore. We're changing a couple Yo, I'm things. Low it's just so much fun. <laughs> you know, we need to know everybody <laughs> seen right now. Cast members are so much fun. It's, it's, it's right, awesome, man. At... It's awesome. So if you haven't already checked out Towers and Gods, definitely do so because you won't regret it definitely won't regret it the first few episodes i will admit the audio is a little off whatever 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 but like a couple episodes in we're like you know we get to know each other more the audio is better um we have so much amazing original art done in the tower of god art style it's a blast man it's a blast so please go support it i would really appreciate it if you gave it a shot um we got rock rock paper scissors rock okay all these rocks you're che how is it that every time i pick a symbol you all Oh, oh, I got the one that beat you. Like, dude, it's always 90% of the chat is the one that beat me. Like, really? Yeah, sure. Sure, dude. We got a lot of scissors. I got a, I got a couple papers, though. I got a couple papers. Excellent. I win. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Peace out. I'll see you next week. And also, tomorrow's video is going to be very interesting. We're talking about Tower of God. Of course, but I'll, I'll save the topic. I won't tell you the topic. No spoilers on the topic, but hopefully you'll watch it and enjoy. All right, peace out. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.